Hello, everyone. I am Professor Carol Swain, or at least that's what people called me for 28 years when I was a professor at Vanderbilt and Princeton Universities. Now, I am out there in the world, and I tell people all the time that the world is my classroom. So welcome to my classroom. And class is now in session. Today's topic is about LGBT month or Pride Month or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we can thank President Obama for giving us Pride Month. I'm often asked, what do you think of uh, you know, Pride Month? And I can tell you that I think that we have something every month that uh, a lot of what is taking place is all about selling merchandise. Pride Month is controversial for so many reasons. And one is, how can someone take pride in their sexual behavior? Um, what you do in your bedroom, I don't want to know. If you're heterosexual, homosexual, anywhere in between, I have no interest in what you do in your bedroom. And there's no reason that you should celebrate it or I should celebrate it or any other American. And I think that these corporations that have gone, quote, woke, and they are selling all of this merchandise and they're forcing their employees to participate in events, I find it very troubling because as a consumer uh, and as a person, you know, that invests in companies, I want companies to maximize profit. And when they get involved in controversial social issues, it can hurt the bottom line. Look what happened to Target and Bud Light uh, and Ford, um, uh, Ford Motors. They will pay a price for getting involved. And so there's no reason, absolutely no reason that any group should celebrate their sexual identity and expect the rest of us to participate. I would like to see fewer special days. I would like to see us focus on major holidays uh, and not continue this thing about everyone's special days, special month. If you look at um, Black History Month or, or now since Obama, Gay Pride Month, uh, some of these uh, groups that we are celebrating, they are part of American history. Let's just focus on American history, include them where appropriate, but there's no place uh, for pride about your a sexual identity or your proclivities. Most Americans are not interested in that. No matter what they say, they may be too fearful to tell you the truth. Like I'm not afraid to tell you, but most Americans don't want the BS. And even some members of the LGBT community don't want it. And unfortunately, too many of us are afraid to speak up. Now, okay, as the professor, I have to teach you something. So I'm going to teach you about ESG. Now, what is ESG? I'm going to read you a definition. ESG stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. And it's a set of standards uh, that the far left imposes on companies. Uh, and we would call it wokeism. But these companies um, respond because of entities like BlackRock. And if you don't know what BlackRock is, uh, it is involved in numerous uh, ventures around the world. It's global, and it in, it affects the investment of strategies of companies. And so companies are evaluated by people that are pushing the ESG agenda. Investment in their businesses may be affected if they don't get a high ESG rating. Is driving many corporations that would prefer to just do their business uh, to get involved in controversial issues. How did this happen? I don't know. Uh, but this is a global movement and corporations that would prefer just to focus on their mission have been forced into this. And so you find the ESG decision making involved with the environmental emissions, um, climate change, uh, recycling, deforestation, the killing of of cows in Ireland and uh, in, in America, the farmland that's being purchased and 
and, and not being used for cattle. All of this is part of the pressures from ESG. Social, you get um, the attacks on the Second Amendment, uh, the so-called human rights movement that just focuses on some groups and ignores the rights of other groups. All of this uh, DEI, CRT, uh, all of these agendas, this transgender movement, uh, the targeting, targeting of our children. That's part of the ESG agenda. And then the governance, governance has to do with uh, uh, corporations, uh, shareholder rights, uh, board diversity, just various things. And whenever you hear the concept sustainability, we associate that with wokeism, even though usually when you want to sustain something, that would be viewed as positive. But um, with the far left and ESG, it's about pushing a woke agenda that corporations would not voluntarily choose, but because they have people that are within their institutions, that are in their companies, within their organizations that are pushing this agenda, and because they fear uh, what could happen to them if they get a low ESG uh, evaluation, they are participating in something that you will find that many of the leaders and CEOs don't believe in. And so that is what is driving a lot of what you're seeing um, this month, Pride Month, and there has been a backlash. And that backlash is harmful in some ways to regular members of the LGBT community that are just trying to live their lives. They're not political types. You know, they're our neighbors. Uh, they are not into transgenderism. They don't like what's happening to their own children. Uh, these people are being pulled into it because when you push as hard as the left pushes, there's always a backlash, and that backlash hurts uh, innocent folks rather than the people behind the scenes that are pushing this social engineering on people, not just in America, but around the world. So I'm Carol Swain. That's my two cents. I always tell you what I think.